What's up guys, welcome to my channel. As I promised in my last video, we'll be discussing how to convert your HEIC, HEIF images to JPEGs or even PNGs in this video. So I'm gonna discuss two techniques on how to convert those uh, images into JPEGs or PNGs with some um, configuration options and without even harming the quality of your output file. Uh, but, but first of all, this is not a sponsored video, so feel free to use any of the tools or software or services that I'm going to recommend in this video. There are lots of services and software available for, for this conversion. Feel free to use any of them. So let's get started. The first technique is to actually use an online service to upload your HEIC or HEIF images and uh, let it convert to your JPEGs. The service I'm talking about is called heic to jpegcom uh, you can use any of the services, you know, there are a bunch and bunch of websites available that can do this for you. Um, you can use this one because I have used this in the past and it works pretty good. And also the fact that you can actually upload 50 images at a time and convert them to JPEGs instantly. So let's, let's give it a shot. Let's try to uh, see what happens. I'm going to upload these uh, six images. And I'm going to drop them here. They are uploading. And they all have been converted to JPEGs. Uh, with the click of a button, you can download all the six files into a zip and you can throw them onto your folder. Let's see how they look. They look pretty similar. So the advantage of using an online service is that, you know, you can use this service anywhere where you have an internet connection, maybe on your phone. You don't have to be locally uh, onto your computer. And also you don't have to install any software or something onto your computer. However, the downside is that, you know, being a third party service, you would have to upload your images to this service. And, uh, you know, I would not suggest that if the images are actually confidential or, you know, it has like personal data. So I would not advise using these kind of services. And also, if you don't have any internet connection, maybe your internet is down or something, then in that case, you won't be able to access this service. But other than that, if you like the service, you can use either this one or any of the online service available. The second technique I want to talk about is by installing some software onto your computer. While the advantages are, you know, you can actually, you don't have to upload any confidential or, you know, personal images to any third party service. Your images stays with you. And also these software actually provide you with some kind of optimization configuration that you can do uh, before converting. Uh, the downside is, you would have to be on your computer always if you are if you don't have access to your computer you would be able to use these services so let's try out the first one called as copy trans heic for windows this one was the same tool that you know that i talked about in my last video so you can actually install that onto your windows computer uh, this is free for use i already have it installed onto, onto my computer so the advantage of using this tool is that you know you can actually select one image or multiple images like you know bulk conversion and right click from your context menu and you know you see there is an option called convert to jpeg with copy trans so you don't even have to open this tool you can just right click and you know just click on this button to convert the images and just uh, right there on your computer you see all the images have been converted to jpeg right there and if you compare the size the initial size of heic was 407 kb and the JPEG is 1.1 MB. So there's a like, you know, increase in size because that's a disadvantage of using JPEG against HEIC. But as you can see, uh, there is no quality loss. There's another tool that I want to talk about. It's called Free HEIC Converter from Phone Paw. Um, I, would, I would be uh, providing all the links, you know, to, uh, for the services or, you know, software into the description. And uh, this is also a free tool. Uh, you can download for Windows, for Mac, right there. And the reason I'm talking about this tool is because it, it lets you configure, you know, your output settings uh, into your computer. So I already have it installed. You see it's called HEIC Converter Free. That's the name of the tool. Um, that's the tool when it opens up. Uh, you can actually um, drag and drop or, or also you can select your file or folder. So I'm going to select the folder. Yeah, it's already selected. So let's give it a try. I'm going to uncheck the JPEGs from the same folder and uh, we have selected six files as you can see right there yeah and the reason I'm talking about is about this tool is because it actually lets you configure your output settings you can actually select JPEG or PNG from the drop down you can also configure the quality even before the conversion like maybe if you want to reduce the quality don't want to keep the quality same then you can give it 90% 80% you know whatever setting 
The tool can also uh, even keep your EXIF data, that means the metadata in the photo. You can configure your output folder and click the convert button and your images will be converted right there. The conversion has been finished. Let's open the folder and see the images. And all the JPEGs are there right there. So remember the initial size of the of the image was 407 KB and um, since we have reduced the quality to 90% in the in the output settings you can see the output JPEG is 80 KB. So we have discussed like both the advantages and disadvantages of using the online service or also the uh, local tool. So I leave that on to you which one you have to use for your purpose. And this is pretty much it from this video. I hope you like this video and it was useful for you and if it was hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.